Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, rainy fall day here in North Georgia. This guy's still around, and we're uh, getting ready to hit the woods for the day. It's gonna be nice and cool all day long, but not cold. It's 54 degrees right now, and uh, the high today is like 68 or something, so it's gonna be a pretty ideal day to walk around in the forest. You can see we're kind of maybe a little past peak fall uh, colors right now, but it just looks great. It's fantastic. And uh, I'm pretty optimistic we can get in some good stuff today. And if not, it'll just be a good day to walk around. So we'll see. Well, our day has started off pretty quickly. A crisp 55 degree. Wow. Is, it, is there something wrong with it? All right. Well, that box turtle went back into its shell before I could get any more video. So we just moved it out of the road. But nice rock outcrop here. We're going to poke around and see if there's anything to flip. Well, it's been pretty unproductive so far, but it has been a lot cooler than we were expecting. But uh, the habitat's beautiful. It's been a nice hike. We just haven't seen much in the way of herp so far. All right, guys, well, Will just found our first snake of the day, a nice little red-bellied snake, which uh, I'll take at this point, because we've been out here for a while, and this is the first snake we've seen. According to my car, the temperature hasn't even broke 55 yet today, so uh, hard to complain about that, but we're gonna keep at it. It, it's definitely feeling a little bit warmer in these more open areas, so we're gonna herp in this type of kind of more open habitat and just see if we can turn up anything else. But nice little black face, red bellied snake. I'll flip him over so y'all can see the belly. Look at that. Kind of actually reduced red on the belly. It's not as vibrant or wide as they normally are. Will just spotted this big mantis chilling out on the ground. Been seeing quite a few of them while cruising, but it's cool to see one in habitat like that. Pretty quickly. All right, we got the uh, the old Zaxby's for lunch, and uh, then we're gonna go do a little more flipping and go probably flip the yard ten at home. So Zaxby's thirty, and then ten. What is happening outside right now? Oh, look at this guy just like <laughs> <laughs> he was like hitting it like a Neanderthal. Was... <laughs> like. <laughs> why this is so funny but just watching this guy like beat this concrete up with his with his machine is so entertaining you're gonna get a whole new demographic of subscribers <laughs> all right guys well will just flipped a little brown snake under a rock here at the house doesn't seem to be much out here we've got a little bit more to flip so that might turn around but it seems like it's just going to be a kind of slow day all around but i'm always happy to see a brown snake here uh red bellies are definitely way more common so Good morning, everybody. Will and I did not see anything else yesterday, but we are out first thing this morning exploring an abandoned house, just poking around. There's quite a bit to flip here, but this place is really creepy. We haven't seen any snakes here yet today. Really, really cool. Love just seeing places like this with the like big regal front door. It's just big like American Horror Story vibes coming from this place. The front door is so weird. Like, it's just creepy. I love the double, I think it's got four chimneys. There's like, there's two on each side. I went inside there, there's some moles basking on the... Yeah. Wow. This place is creepy, dude. Yeah, you wanna go inside? Not particularly. You wanna try to flip this bad boy? Nope. <laughs> Creepy house right there. Nice big board here. And, uh, in this little hole in the ground, there is a red-bellied snake. First snake of the day, a lot faster than yesterday. Oh, that's pretty cool. First snake of the day, nice red-bellied here at this uh, this creepy establishment. But we're just gonna put that guy back under his board and continue flipping. It took us the better part of the day to find a red-bellied snake yesterday, so hopefully this is a good sign. All right, guys, it's kind of like mid-morning at this point. We made it to our next site where we're gonna be mostly hiking habitat. We're gonna hike over to a little rocky area where I've seen some timbers in the past. 
and uh, hope that there's some out basking there and maybe flip some rocks too while we're at it. And then we're gonna wrap up the day by flipping 10 before we have to take Will to the airport. All right, guys, we're at our next site for the day. Just uh, getting ready to flip some tin that uh, Will and I set up a couple years ago. <laughs> and uh, now we're in a nice abandoned building here. This one's not nearly as spooky as the first one. This just now with all these leaves on it. Yeah. A marbled salamander. Oh, what? Oh, nice. <laughs> you want to snag them for... Uh... Yeah, here you go. Here, I'll hold them while you... <laughs> Well, that's nice to see. Nothing crazy, but uh, the first herp we've seen under 10 today, other than that uh, red-bellied snake under the board. But it has been pretty slow, but we still have some of the best stuff ahead of us, so I'm gonna remain optimistic and we'll put this guy back under his 10. A racer. A baby racer. Well, given how slow today has been, I will definitely take that. That is the first snake of any size that we've seen. It's still not very big. Um, we did see a ring neck and a red belly, and now this guy. So only three snakes today so far, and this guy's got a pretty big meal on him, so we don't want to mess with him. He's got to digest that before any cool weather comes in, so we'll put him back in his stack. But nice little southern black racer as uh, one of the only snakes we've seen today. We have like T minus one hour until that guy has to be headed to the airport. So we're trying to finish strong, but it just doesn't seem to be working in our favor. Oh, brown snake. Look right sure there. enough. Nice. Here, let me go grab it. Let's see. Uh... A different one than the one I saw in the stack last time, too. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, big story energy up in here. All right, let's check the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! You see him go down that hole? <laughs> that was so pretty. Hold on. Dang it. Well, our day is rapidly coming to an end. Will has to be at the airport within the next hour or so, but uh, we're kind of hitting our last spot. And uh, hopefully the GoPro footage came out, but there was a spotted salamander and a brown snake in that stack. Pretty neat. Our totals for the day are kind of getting up into like semi-respectable territory, but it's just all been really common stuff. All right, guys, it is unfortunately once again airport time because young William here has to return to the north. That I do. But uh, yeah, it kind of kind of wasn't the best day, but I mean, it's been a blast hanging out with Will and. Uh, once I drop him off here, I'm probably going to wrap up this part of the episode and uh, catch you guys next time I get out in the field, which will probably be at some point, you know, over the next couple days. So uh, it was nice having Will here. Uh, we were able to actually get some cool stuff accomplished, just maybe not the last two days. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Good morning, everybody. We are getting ready to start a long day of road cruising and tin flipping in some upland habitat. Hoping to see hognose snakes, pine snakes, diamondbacks, all of that good stuff. So, And uh, we've had a pretty weird fall. It's unseasonably warm today, but overall it's been very dry and a lot cooler than normal. So uh, we're getting a very early start today. The sun has just started to come up above the horizon. And we're going to flip a little bit of tin to start the day. So let's get to it. So I already know what's under this because I already flipped it. I wasn't expecting much, but uh, it's really cool. Only, I think, the second time... I have ever seen one of these guys under 10. Look at that. <laughs> First southern hog nose of the day and we just got here. We were expecting to see one of these today, just not under 10. That is really, really cool. This is the first Simus I have flipped since my lifer in 2012, so 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. Uh, but then again, I don't try terribly often because they're a lot easier to find on the road, so... Really great way to start the day. Here's a look at this guy a little more out in the open before we put his piece of tin back. But beautiful little southern hog nose, juvenile. It's our first one of the day. There he goes. This guy's actually got a pretty recent meal in him, you can see. Really cool. What a great way to start the day. 
We're just gonna let that guy crawl back under and we're gonna get back to flipping. If we don't see anything else, we'll probably hit the road and start cruising and hopefully there will be plenty of activity on the road too. We haven't seen any more snakes since the assignments we flipped this morning, but I was following this track and it looks like it came out of this hole. So I dug around a little bit and in the hole was a big Southern hognose snake shed, which is kind of interesting to see. So you can see the upturned rostral scale right there. Pretty obviously a big Southern hog, really cool. Well, that is one of the biggest Southern hog noses I've ever seen. Jesus, look at this thing. Look at this. Look at how big that is. Well, this big girl is certainly impressive. Likely a big female that I'm hoping laid plenty of eggs this year and is trying to get her body weight back after laying eggs. She seems a little on the thin side, but not unhealthy at all. So really great. Took us most of the day. It's like what, noon afternoon right now? around noon and this is only our second snake of the day the first thing we've road cruised the first snake of the day was that simus we found under 10 but really nice big huge adult female one of the biggest ones i've ever seen as our first snake on the road for the day but we're just gonna let her continue off into the habitat and we're gonna keep cruising might take a break here soon for lunch because like i said we've been at it for a while and this is only our first snake on the road all right big girl Good luck out there, stay out of the road. We're gonna get back to it. Finally, the evening window opens up and we get our first snake in hours. Yet another little Simus. All right, well, we've seen plenty of these little worm-sized Simus this year, so we're just going to make sure he gets off the road safely and hope that this is the beginning of a nice little evening activity window. It is quite hot today. I think it's around 86 right now. Hopefully, it'll cool down a little bit, and it'll bring some more snakes out. All right, little guy. Stay away from the birds. Well, it's now five o'clock in the afternoon. It's super dusty out here because the car has just gone in front of us, but we've still just seen the three hog noses, only two of which were even on the road. So it's definitely been one of our slower days out here so far this year, but I think we're gonna do another pass. And if we don't see anything, I might call it a day here. So we'll see. 